Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sintatar Fragrance Channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Benjamin, and I review fragrances, colognes, perfumes, and all things scent related. So if you want to learn more about fragrances and colognes, perfumes, all those kinds of things, and if you want to learn how to smell great, and uh, just the best of the best fragrances, the best value for the best money, uh, let's jump into this fragrance review, or first impressions. Yes, this is a first impression coming up from another discovery set. Before I start, though, I do have to say that I won this from a giveaway from Sebastian over there at Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. He's a great guy. I really appreciate him. And this honestly is a dream come true. I live in a smaller town like Jensen's, and I don't have any boutiques of any niche fragrances. Um, getting even some of the more recent fragrances in the designer world sometimes is tough. And um, I might have the only you know samples are the only fragrances of these in the whole state so I feel very privileged and very happy to be able to share these with you today I'm very excited let me show them to you real quick of course I can't show them all the way here but um, if I do they'll, they'll fall over so that's what they look like there's a yin and a yang side definitely encourage you to go to their website and read a little bit more about this brand um, I'm gonna start over on the white side. I'll put down below uh, double checking if that's yin or yang to, so I don't mix that up, but um, It's gonna be really exciting to be able to share these with you today. I have 10 uh, From the normal discovery set and their new yin transformation brand new at the very end So what I'm gonna share with you all here today is golden wood. So let's do a little spray there test this out Golden wood Oh my goodness, this is different. I'm happy when a niche brand does something different. If all these fragrances are like this, unique, oh my goodness, it's gonna, this is gonna be a great experience, very amazing. So what you're getting here, it's kind of light, but it's still kind of elegant. It kind of has that fancy side of things, kind of like a resinous fragrance, kind of like with patchouli or some classic scents with or ambery scents, but it's not heavy. It's still light and it's still playful. It's called golden wood. It's still kind of woody. But what I'm getting is, in the opening at least, is this vibe of licorice. And licorice sometimes come, comes off earthy or almost on the dark side of things. And this is a light, playful licorice playing with a very nice gold, I guess gold wood. It does have that feel, an elegant, light wood, bright, they're doing an interesting play with uh, yellow florals, no doubt about that. <sighs> a very nice fragrance. I, I do feel like this one, although I think all of these are unisex, I think guys might appreciate this one better. Uh, more for the maybe the mature guys out there. It's so nice though, it's so interesting. I gotta let my dad try this one and see what he thinks about it. I do think this is a real winner of a fragrance, no doubt about it. Oh my goodness. I hope I hope that you get to try these fragrances or that you look them up. Maybe you can order the Discovery set because already with the first fragrance, Goldenwood. So the second one I have to share with you all here is uh, Sacred Water. Now I've heard a lot about this. I think this one, I just sprayed it, is uh, said to be more of them on the mass appealing side. Maybe this is one of their top sellers. I think it does very well very interesting this is very different it's an aquatic it's a sa it's sacred water and it has a white floral kind of nature to it kind of like gypsy water but uh, it almost has that skin accord it almost has that raw white patchouli nature that I mentioned in some fragrances but it's earth real it's it's not something that you've probably ever smelled before it's a very special white floral aquatic fragrance and it and it has almost the t like a touch of salt but it's not a salty fragrance the only thing that's uh can resembles this fragrance whatsoever is gypsy water by byredo but this one is much more clean it's much more fancy if you can think of like a fancy white gown oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> this is something special. This is something different. Um, again, all of these are unisex, but uh, 
on a lady, this might be special. This might be really special. So here's the third one. Let's talk about uh, none other than uh, Vet Velvet Fire. Very interesting name. You usually don't think of fire being something soft or nice or kind. That's what we got going here. I'm spraying these here. Ah. Hmm. Velvet Fire. So what you're getting here to me, almost is like, again, almost like a licorice type of vibe to the fragrance. But this this is like the the dry down or kind of the base of licorice. Maybe this is the licorice uh, leaves. But it's very playful. It's very nice. This is very mass appealing as well. And uh, but it has the energy behind it with the fire. Um, such a playful nice fragrance I, I but again it has that energy behind it with fire it's really hard to describe this fragrance all of these fragrances are kind of hard to describe velvet fire though it, it is a soft nice kind and cozy type of energetic fragrance if you can combine fi any of those things together fire usually makes people think of something passionate, something burning, something unstoppable, but you have it cozy, you have it soft, you have it approachable. This is going to be amazing for like uh, fall days and maybe uh, winter, fall and days and nights and uh, maybe perhaps winter days. This is going to be amazing for like a cozy, maybe even a romantic fragrance. This is really good. All these so far are, even though they're artistic and they're different, they're very versatile. And I feel like they can be worn in just about any situation. Because they have a little bit of a universal appeal about them. But make no, no mistake when I say these are unisex and that these are more a little bit more on the mass appealing side. These are definitely niche and these definitely have character behind them. This is a really good fragrance. This is not this one I think is not going to be for everybody. Not that it's not that it's unappealing or bad in any way. I just feel like so, um you know some people might like you know sacred water more. It's it's very cozy, it's very nice, it's very soft. I think of those big fluffy jackets that perhaps used in Hollywood movies. They're a little bit exaggerated. I'll put a picture up here. <laughs> Uh, that's nice. I really do like it. We got to jump to the next one. The next one is Desired Earth. Desired Earth. Interesting name, interesting title. Desired Earth. What is going on here? This is totally a 180 from what I thought it'd be. Wow. Desired Earth is like a very light, playful, and uh, aromatic take on like a gourmand. But instead of it being, again, it's not heavy at all in any way. And it takes it on the earthy side of things in a very good way. In a very uh, mass appealing and just versatile way. But it's not a gourmand, it just has that kind of vibe behind it. Again, I feel like this one's a little bit more mature, but all these are very youthful. All these are very unisex. Hard to describe these. Of course, I'm putting the notes uh, to help give you an impression of all these. These are really hard to describe. I'm sure I'm going to have to test all of these. It's um, niche fragrances, especially artistic, fra artistic fragrances, are really hard to... Uh, give impressions of just by the notes alone um, especially when they're blended to be this kind of fragrance this one doesn't project or perform as well but it's very nice and um, desired earth has this like understated it perhaps it's more for the reserved person it has a magnetism behind it it's very nice I like it though. I do like it. I appreciate all of these fragrances. What I have to share with y'all is Matrix Metal. Matrix. What are we going on here? Going in the cyber world? Going into Ghost in a Shell? I don't know what's going on here. It 
It's light, it's unisex, it's playful. Kind of has an ISOE super. Nature. I really like this one for an odd reason. I don't know why I like this. It draws me in. It has this raw steel accord, but it's not sharp and it's not sour. It's just like if you find a very clean piece of like stainless steel, brushed stainless steel, I'll put a picture up here, and you were to smell it. It just smells like that, but it's very clean. It's kind of, again, it's going to, I'm sure all these fragrances change and blend with the skin very well. But this one, the, I like how the the accord and the vibe, kind of the, the heart of all these fragrances, I like how this one is a little bit happier. And I like how this fragrance feels overall. I think it's going to suit my personality. Metal Matrix so far is winning my heart. I don't know why this one is performance. It's maybe the softest of them all so far. And it, and it, it just has this vibe in this character. Of that somebody very strong, but uh, approachable and yet kind. Moving over to the other side, the dark side. <laughs> this is the uh, first one here. This is Metal Flower. Metal Flower. Yeah, it's floral. I mean, it said flower. And it has a metallic kind of vibe to it, of course. I feel like it's, again, a very clean metal. But this one isn't like Metal Matrix where it's like a clean brushed stainless steel. This one is more like, uh, not dirty, not old. But like, have you ever seen metal that becomes kind of darkened when it's heated? Have you ever seen that where it kind of becomes mold? gets many colors. Um, there's a word for it, I don't know. They, maybe it's just oxidization, it's not rust. But I feel like it has, a, a the metal is a little bit darker. This fragrance has a lot, I can already tell that this is, has a lot of performance. Even though, again, all these are kind of skin scents and all these are kind of playful, these all remind me of eccentric molecules. But they're even stronger. So that's saying something. I, I don't think the performance is going to be bad with all these fragrances or any of these fragrances by any means. I think they're going to be a little bit on the subtle side, but they're going to be very noticeable. Ladies, if you ever wanted a metallic fragrance that was floral for you, again, very unisex, very easy to wear. Um, and perhaps Eccentric Molecules has, you know, interested you in the past. I would encourage you all to try this. It's very nice. It's understated. Again, this is all these fragrances are a little bit more on the the subtle side of things. Urban, you could probably these are super versatile, but still have some character. I love when a niche house is able to do that. I love it. Versatile fragrances with some character. Is that an oxymoron? I don't think so. That's that Harmonist is pulling it off. They really are. Next one here, Royal Earth. Very interesting name. Excited to try this one, just like all the others. Ah, Royal Earth. It's a playful, aromatic, kind of happy and regal kind of light earthy unisex earthy fragrance it's really hard to describe if you think of earth if you've ever smelled clay imagine it it imagine it being refined and made kind of classy and then mixing it with like an eccentric molecule kind of dna that very light uh playful musk kind of feel and this one's like happy as well royal earth i really like this one Royal Earth is winning my heart as well. Metal Matrix and Royal Earth, for me personally, are winning my heart. But Sacred Water, I know, is really going to pull people in. That one is a special kind of aquatic. Royal Earth, though. That's for me. That's for me. Definitely for a young, uh, a young man. 
or or a man in his 20s i love that i, I love royal earth i don't know what's going on here what i have to share with y'all is hypnotizing fire oh hypnotizing fire hypnotize indeed this has a almost like a fruity playful nuance to it it's very happy this is very playful and it has this energy behind it i've never smelled anything like this um and it's not fruity as in like juvenile and immature or anything like that that's how it comes off in the opening then it's drying down to that energetic fire vibe it's like a light smoldering flicker of a fire <laughs> I love this. This is so creative. I think that this is going to suit a flamboyant, playful lady out there. All these are unisex. But if you're the type of person who likes very colorful things, likes flamboyant things, uh, likes maybe the punk side of things, or the rebellious, I think that uh, this one, no doubt about it, Hypnotizing Fire, is, I think, one of their best. I think that this has a lot of mass appealing to feel. Sacred Water and Hypnotizing Fire have probably have the most universal appeal. And this is very well done. This is a very good fragrance. This might be a masterpiece, guys. Hypnotizing Fire. It is mag Magnetic Wood. Magnetic Wood. Oh... This too has a licorice -y type of vibe, but they like that licorice, -y, licorice kind of vibe. It's very interesting. This one to me smells the most like authentic licorice. And to me, it's having almost a wormwood effect, which is a little bit more daring. A little bit more hard to wear for people. If you're not familiar, if you're unfamiliar with wormwood, it has a distinct, distinct mustiness. Um, almost like if you leave uh, clothes wet for too long. But it's not unpleasant. This is not a bad fragrance. It just has a distinct, interesting sourness. <laughs> um, I don't think this is going to be for everybody, but, that, but Magnetic Wood is very good nonetheless. Very interesting. Has this uh, interesting, almost metallic vibe about it with wood. No doubt that it has a woody character, but I feel like this one's a little bit more mature. Kind of the the opposite to, uh, you know, Hypnotizing Fire. Very nice fragrance, though. I think if you're a mature guy, if you're an older guy, Magnetic Wood would be very good. And uh, Golden Wood. Definitely very good fragrances. Interesting, though. Never smelled anything like this before. The last, uh, no, this is the second last one. This is Guiding Water. This one I think is very mass appealing too. This, I'm sure it is. It's, a, it's an aquatic. Guiding Water. It's more subdued as uh, to the sacred water. This one is very easy to wear. Very mass appealing. Very soft, very approachable. A very nice, interesting uh, aquatic fragrance. If you, I feel like this is an aquatic for people who don't like aquatics, because it's it's just so easy to approach. It's so easy to wear, so easy to accept. It's not salty. It's not too musky with ambergris. It's not too aquatic. It's not doesn't have green like seaweed going on. It's just light. It's it just smells like very clean, transparent water. Very easy to wear. Very easy to like, and it's subtle. So it's not going to be too loud. It's not going to. It's going to be more of a personal scent. Very beautiful. Very well done. I'm sure this is a, a huge top seller for them as well. Guiding Water. Guiding Water. Beautiful fragrance. I do have to say that this is a very nice fragrance for guys and gals. But I feel like if you're a lady out there, 
and you've never been able to appreciate aquatics, or maybe you smelled aquatics on men and you wanted your own aquatic, this one, Guiding Water, I think is going to be fantastic. It's subtle. And I know some people in the fragrance community really don't like subtle. They want beast mode. They want eight hours of performance. But some people want something that's inoffensive and closer to the skin. Uh, but And when old people really only smell it when they're right next to them, maybe one feet of projection, you know, really close to somebody. This is going to... I don't know, that's going to be a showstopper for some people. That's so here at the very end, this is the f finale. This is the one I promised y'all. This is the brand new Yin Transformation, their newest from their line. I feel very happy and excited to be able to share this with y'all. Um, Yin Transformation, I don't know what's going into this fragrance. I don't know what we're going to get here. The transformation is beautiful. It's kind of like a mix or a hybrid between the two waters. The, the sacred waters and the guiding waters. Uh, but the... But that white floral, beautiful unisex modern white floral accord has a little bit of more of a soapiness behind it. I feel... This one goes a little bit more in the soapy direction. And that actually is a really nice thing. White florals, soap, very nice, unisex, soft, mass appealing. Very easy to wear. Final thoughts so far. Uh, for me, the, the uh, guiding water and the hypnotizing fire are the most mass appealing. And the most highly recommended to just try if you're get, just buying individual samples. Um, those two are excellent and going to represent the brand very well. If you're an older guy, I thought Magnetic Wood and gold, especially Golden Wood uh, was a very good recommendation. And for But for me personally, Metal Matrix and um, what was the other wood? There was, uh, no it was an Earth. I'll have to look it up later. I'll put it right here. That uh, fancy or refined earth um, was something special. Something special indeed. So definitely check these out. Give them a chance. They're not going to be for everybody. These are more unisex. They're closer to the skin. Uh, they're more mass appealing. Definitely on the side for, for a niche fragrance. But um, I feel like the, the fragrance world needs fragrances like these. Eccentric Molecules, again, I, I'm just comparing this this brand to them because they have a similar vibe and I feel like they're going to feel a similar need. Um, they're definitely going to give them a run for their money. I think Eccentric Molecules, for me, I, I'm not excited about this brand, but I'm, I am excited about the Harmonist. I think that uh, their fragrances um, are going to... They have more character, they have more to say but they do the same kind of thing again very kind of personal transparent easy to wear fragrances that bond and become a part of you but they have more character stay tuned for a second part of this i know that i still have to do a second part of happy land review their fragrances i have so many fragrances to review and i'm very happy to be able to do that that's an exciting thing so happy to be able to bring this review to y'all today and to share these things with you. I have a lot of editing to do to make this more digestible because I took my time sitting down and uh, smelling these fragrances with you here today. But thank you so much for being here today. Thank y'all for watching the Scentator Fragrance channel to having this uh, fragrance experience here with me today. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to grow the channel, to, to support me as uh, you know, a content creator here on YouTube. And uh, I'll see y'all next time, of course, wear what you love, and let me know what kind of interesting or exciting niche that you've come across, that you've tried, and that you're, uh, you know, perhaps there's something out there that's caught your interest and you want me to review. Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll do my very best um, to, you know, buy samples or do, you know, get them. So I'll see y'all next time. 
This has been the Centaur Fragrance Channel. I'll see ya and bye my friends.